Hey, I'm back with a happier address. I'm going to give you some Mother's Day gift ideas. I don't know where you live, but where I live it is on Sunday. I know that some parts of Europe you have already had Mother's Day. Sorry I missed ya. We have ours a little bit later. You can save these for next year. Also, if you have a mother with a birthday coming up or any female in your life with a birthday coming up, this could also work for that. Let's get into it. You know all those websites with pre-made meals, either for healthy versions or just because people don't have time to cook or whatnot? That would make a great gift. You could get a 30-day supply, a week supply, three-month supply. Um, you could get them a gift card or set up the account and put money on it and they can order whatever they want. It's a new crave, <laughs> or craze I should say, especially with other people or people who have a lot of kids and they just don't have time to come home and you know worry about if their kids are getting enough vegetables so they organize these meals that come pre-packaged there's a couple different companies google and your price range some are more um, gourmet others are more um, not that it's bad food but for more modern middle class families you could do a YMCA or a gym membership. I know a lot of women are gearing up for summer or maybe just want a place to escape when they need a little mom time. Also, a she shed, hello, that would be a dream. Mother's Day or a room in the house or an area in the house, you can transform it as mom's time out. <laughs> um, YMCA is great. YMCA is a great gift, sorry. That's like a local community center. If you don't have YMCA's, you probably do have a community center or like a community pool. You could buy a summer pass. Everybody loves going to the pool or having activities and classes to do. Um, of course, these never get old. Mani pedis, facials. Um, if they have a favorite store, even like an online site, you can get them a gift card or put money on their account. Um, it's garden season, plants, uh, or gardening supplies. You could get your mom an outfit from top to bottom, like jewelry, accessories, shoes. If they like go to church a lot, or if they work in an office, or if they like PJs, you could get them like ropes and slippers, whatever is um, best for your mom. Also like hair irons, hair straighteners, curling irons, they, these all make great gifts for moms. We're always doing stuff with our hair. Same with like um, press-on nails if you're not going to do a manicure or manicure. Manicure. What is wrong with me today? <laughs> um, unique furniture or like storage items. Anything that can help them organize like a little vanity with a stool or a unique mirror or an accent piece or figurines of some kind. Moms always love that. Grandmas do too. Um, perfume or makeup are always a good gift, especially if it's really nice perfume and very fragrant, something that they wear all the time that's a bit pricey and they would appreciate someone else buying it for them. Those always make a good gift. Candles are always popular. <laughs> Sorry. <sighs> City bus. That's the one good thing about living here. I ha literally have bus stops at four locations and I'm not even, like this is just for people who live here. Yeah, <laughs> it's a big place. Um, where was I? Oh, a concert or show, movie tickets, like Fandango or like a drive-in, um, any kind of play, like even high schools have spring musicals right now. You could get your mom tickets for that. Um, record players are making a comeback, but if your mom does, already have a record player you could get them some nice records order them especially new music that they're into um, moms like arts and crafts my mom likes paint by number some people like some other moms like to knit or quilt or you know collect certain things those are always good thoughtful gifts anything homemade that you make for them they're gonna love it um, lottery tickets or casino gift card or a night at the casino um, if you have one around you or you can just get them a bunch of scratch-offs a bunch of lottery tickets um, who doesn't love that <laughs> um, you could take them again on a wine tour get some wine and some snacks and make like a 
a gift basket to hang out <laughs> or any kind of themed gift, gift basket that your mom would like. You could do favorite snacks with some rom-com movies and some popcorn. You could do like home spa day baskets. You could do arts and craft baskets. Anything your mom's into, just get a bunch of shit, put it in a basket, decorate it. Everybody likes laundry baskets and will use them. You can put it in a laundry basket. Um, a photo shoot. <laughs> Having professional photos done isn't a luxury we all have or are willing to spend the money on. Um, especially mothers, they always want like family photos. So you could do a family photo shoot and then organize like a, a nice professional photo shoot so your mom could get some nice headshots. You know, these are things that they keep forever. Um, you could make them a scrapbook or a photo album or get them stuff if they're into doing that. Um, pets. <laughs> Who doesn't like pets? Summer is coming. It would be a great time to get somebody a puppy or a kitten. Or if they already have pets, you could get like a, <laughs> a matching shirt and leash or something so they look cute while they're doing pet stuff. Um, you could make a meal for them or take them out to eat. Um, of course, if your money's a little tight or you're too young to go to the store, there's always top things that you could do for mom or on a budget. You could clean the house, do the laundry, do the errands, stock the fridge, organize the pantry, organize the sock drawer, all those little tasks that mom, moms love when it's done and organized, just never really have the fucking time for organizing the kids toys cleaning the kids toys anything like that yard work gardening weeding uh, cleaning the gutters uh, steam cleaning floors or uh, shampooing carpets like these are things that mean a lot to people because it's time and if they just feel so good at when it's done you could pay for a cleaning service as well whether it's one time or for a set amount of time what a great gift to your mom. Like, here, let me help you so you can have someone else clean your stuff. Um, you could make a family movie. Uh, any outdoor furniture, outdoor time of year, like fire pit for the backyard, lawn chairs for the porch, bike if they're, or rollerblades if they're into outdoor stuff or want to. Um, car repairs. If you know your parents need something done on their car, what a great Mother's Day gift. Let me get you some tires. Let me get your oil change done. I'll pick it up. I'll, I'll take care of everything. You don't got to worry about it. I mean, these things are so much stress for people and they have to organize their schedules and to just have somebody come and take that off their hands. What a nice present. Um, you could do a comedy show or a roast. Remember, keep it pleasant. It is Mother's Day. You don't want to hurt anybody's feelings. But if your mom has like a really awesome sense of humor and you want to be a comedian or you are, make a whole show for mom. What, what better to watch your child doing the thing that they love, you know, for you. Um, I think that's everything that I got. I hope it was helpful. I hope you got something good out of it. Um, I know I was just in Wegmans. They have a bunch of flower bouquets out and like chocolate covered strawberries. Stores have quick grab stuff, but this is your mom. This is somebody who gave you life. And if they are good to you, the best thing you can give your mom on Mother's Day is your time. And to show them that you care and to be so fucking thankful that not only are they your mom, but they're still here. Think of all the people who are missing their moms on Mother's Day. I always take a minute to think of everybody who no longer has their mom, and it hurts my heart for them. You know, I don't have my children. I was just walking through the store, and I saw Mother's Day stuff, and it made me a little sad. So I'm sure it happens to people who no longer have their mom. You know, they get sad. So shout out to all of you who don't have your moms. Doesn't mean they're not with you on this day or every day. And you could still do something nice um, to honor them and to give yourself a little peace. You could go to the grave and put some flowers on it. Or you could write them a letter or just talk to them. They're still with you. Trust me when I tell you, moms never, never leave their babies.
I don't care what realm they're in. Okay? And babies don't leave moms. <laughs>